Zero to Geek. Learning better is better. Hello and welcome and thanks for watching this video where we'll go through what's new in our site Zero to Geek from a technical perspective. I have really exciting news. I've been working in the last week to improve our video experience on our video pages which are basically 99% of our site at ZeroToGeek.com. So the great news is that the site is going to be 77% faster because we improved our algorithm and we'll tell you more about that in a few seconds. Um, our video player is now going to be iOS friendly meaning you could grab your iPad, your iPhone, your eye, whatever, and you should be able to watch our videos. You could even use Safari, and even if you don't have Flash, you could use Safari and watch our videos. We support any browser that has H.264 H.264 video supported within it or Flash on it, either or, and you'll be able to watch. Um, we prefer the Flash experience because it gives us more control over creating a better player for you. Um, and but you have that HTML5 video if you don't have Flash on your system. And the biggest news is we're future ready. Um, this is really exciting on our end because we built out our video page from scratch. Um, putting all of our thinking forward about all the features that you guys want in the future. And this update is going to enable us to start making real major and real cool updates, both for our video player itself, but also for the experience of users that are not yet our members. Um, so this is going to be a really exciting and a great addition to our site. I wanted to show you really quickly how drastic the changes of the speed are. All right, so we're going to start. I'm going to click on that timer to start. And the goal is I'm going to go through every single video on the page and count how long it took me to take. Go through there. We have quite a fast connection, 100 uh, megabytes per second. So let's start, start. We'll click on that start button and immediately click inside to start loading our page. Notice how long it's taking for the page to load. It took us over five seconds to load the page even before the video came in. And the load is only complete once we got to 10. All right, so let's now click through, and I'm going to click on next cup a few times, and we'll see you guys um, once I finish clicking. And it took us just about a minute to go through all the 15 videos we could pause it. So it took us, but let's round it down to one minute to go through the 15. Uh, we're going to push this update right now with the new player, and then we'll try this again. Right, and so now with our support for iPad, we're on the iPad itself. I'm just going to uh, click to our timer and click on that start button and have it start. Um, let me reset that reset we're going to click on the start button and immediately click into the video see how long it takes us to get in um, so i'm immediately going to click inside first of all it takes us uh, just about the same amount of time four seconds just underneath that five sec original seconds but from now on as soon as this original video loaded in it loaded in also all the information that it needs for all the rest of the videos meaning that from now on notice how quick the loads are literally under a second to load a page and the page is already loaded and that's it and literally the load itself instead of taking five seconds for each page is literally just a matter of a second to load the page in with all the content that it needs to load inside just see it in action as soon as we click inside to a video it will update on the spot the reason is is because we're preloading all the information when the user first comes in now if you ever have any issue you could always click on the refresh button but it is just not needed um, so Hope you enjoy this, and we we'll hope to see you on our site, ZeroToGeek.com, where you'll have a 77% better experience than you did so far. And it's also on the iPad. Please subscribe to us, we love you so much. Please subscribe.